Have you ever fainted? If you have, then do not panic, as you are not alone. Studies show that 40% of the population will faint at least once in their lifetime. Now, thankfully enough, most of the fainting attacks are not very serious. A majority of the fainting are due to neurological cause, commonest of which is the vasovagal attack, or what we call simple faints. That does not need many investigations, and there's no treatment except for few changes in the lifestyle. The most important aspect of making a diagnosis of such faint lies in the history. So history is very important, not only from the patient, but also from the eyewitness. The eyewitness is the person who might have seen the patient when he or she might have fainted. A small proportion of the fainting is due to the cardiac or heart-related causes, and these, although rare, but can potentially be serious. And these are the causes that will need to be investigated very, very thoroughly. A small percentage of the patients faint, however, without any known cause. The most important aspect is that these patients are looked by the right physician who has got the right kind of expertise and experience, take a good history and do their relevant investigations rather than doing the unnecessary tests. In my clinical practice, I see patients with dizziness, what I go, or simple faints running from one physician to another, right from the general physician or urgent care or emergency physician to the internist, then sees the neurologist then goes back to ENT, she sees the psychiatrist and so on. So my advice would be if you have fainted or if your loved one has fainted, then please seek attention from the right physician, give a detailed history and do the relevant tests and avoid the unnecessary investigations. Thank you.